Hi guys, welcome back to Zero Upper Beauty. This is Absara. I'm going to do another beauty haul for you guys. I kind of organized it better. It's like easier lips, eyes, and then face and everything. Um, so it's just a little bit easier when I organize it and you guys can see it that way. We're gonna start off with the, the lips first. The L'Oreal, this is like their, their gold, um, kind of gold chrome um, nail polishes. And I got the number 580. This is called Peony Pink. And this is what the color looks like. Um, but it's a pretty, like, I would say that this is like an old fashioned kind of like pink that you would see your mom wearing in like the 90s. But um, it's a really pretty pink, kind of like a peony, like what they said, a peony pink. The 800 is called the Ferris Nude. And this is a gorgeous color, you guys. Look at that. And you guys, can, you know, you can't really go wrong with nudes. That one's a really pretty color. And I love smelling it. Oh, I love smelling the <laughs> lipsticks, you guys. 580 Peony as well. I have two of the, this one's a better one, a better version of it. And then this one is the 590 Blushing Berry. This one's a gorgeous color very stunning like a very berry color it's great for like a date night one is the essence 11 nude love and this one i got on clearance it's super gorgeous i love like this brand it's um kind of reminds me of like a little bit of a rimmel it's like a german brand but you can actually find this at an affordable price um they're about like three bucks the revlon lip Lipsticks, these are stunning too. These are my actually favorite formulation. It's the 645 HD Forever Eternity. And this one's like a nudish color, more like a like a darker nude. And then I have the lighter nude, which is the HD Glow 715. This one's really pretty. If you pair these together, like apply the darker one first and this this in the center. It's really gonna give it a really pretty contour. I also purchased the Glazed Super Intense Color Extra Glossy Finish Lip Lip Paint by LA Girl. This one's really pretty. I actually wore this to a friend's wedding. Um, and it actually stayed on all day. It didn't even dry out my lips. But this is what it looks like when you take it out. It smells like men menthol, like kind of like a mint scent. This is a Maybelline Color Jolt in 05 stripped down and this one's a really pretty like nudish color too i've actually tried it um as you can see it you just kind of squeeze it out and it comes into like a, a creamy texture the liquid cat suit nice to fuchsia 725b this one look this is what it looks like it's like a fuchsia color and this is my i would say like one of my second top like favorites formulations at the drugstore. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that because this is my other favorite one. This is the Revlon Matte Balm. This is in 265 Fierce. This is so gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of a in between, oh, and it smells like a mint. It's, it's in between like a brick color, but plumish. I don't know if that makes sense. The L'Oreal, this is Infallible Paints Metallics. This one's another color, 330 Moon Lust. Very pretty. Nutrition and Hydro Boost Hydrating Lips Shine. This one is in Velvet Wine 70. This is another gorgeous color. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in Stock, Stock them? Stock Ham. Stock Ham, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> but it's another nude pretty pretty gorgeous color the Neutrogena Mor Morsure Stick color stick this is in classic red I've actually tried it um, I really don't recommend this formulation but I like their nude one I don't know why the nude and the red will make a difference but this one it's a little like too thick and then I think I I'm not sure if I purchased this one but this one's the blushing brown but this is by elf and this one's a super gorgeous color too as you guys can tell i'm like obsessed with like nudes the rimmel this is the stay matte liquid lip color 
and I'm not sure. This one's called 700 Be My Baby. Very gorgeous. I haven't tried this formulation yet. Um, I think I heard really good reviews, but I don't, I'm not sure if they're that moisturizing. The Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer, and this one is in 62 Charmer. This one's super gorgeous. I've actually tried this and it's a little bit of a gloss more than a like completely matte lip. Another hot liquid one and this one is in 76. Obsess is the color. Definitely obsessed with this color. Okay, another L'Oreal. This one's a 312 nude color. Super pretty. The 06. This one is in Push Up. This one's another pretty nudish color. There's another Rimmel it's in 110 blush. It's like a pinkish nude. And it's a Maybelline Smoking Red 795. Ooh. Something happened to it. It just destroyed. I think it was like melting in the sun or something. That's why I don't put like lipstick in the car or like in my purse in the car or somewhere where it's hot because I'll ch I'll put more of like a liquid base, like a lip gloss in my um, purse. So this is my last lipstick and this is the NYX Full Throttle. And this is an actually a waterproof lipstick and the color is Sandman, Sandman. And it's like more of like a dark red, ruby red color. Got the Cuddle, Cuddle This one is actually a Sephora Insider, Beauty Insider birthday gift. I got the skincare one. This, I actually never tried this brand. I've actually, I'm not sure if I received like a, like a face mist from them. I think I might have, or maybe that's, maybe I have, I don't know. I don't think I did uh, actually. But this is a um, Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet, a Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. So what I love, you, you guys like don't even know, but I'm obsessed with like little minis because look at how adorable and mini size they look. So cute. This is um, the Moisturizing Sorbet. And then this is the Vino, Vino Perfect Serum. Look at how adorable and tiny they are. So you can actually try them out first before you um, actually purchase it and you're not like committed to such a big product. That's why I like little minis. And then also they're great on the go, especially when you're traveling. A couple of highlighters. I can't like live without highlighters. Um, I wanna try, I actually have not tried this one. This one's from NYX. It's called the Lavender Lus and I think it's called Bliss Zero. Six. and it's like a like kind of like a pencil a jumbo pencil stick and you can kind of draw where you need your highlight and this one's like a purple scent which I'm really excited to try out through that highlight and this one is another stick from wet and wild I actually I think I tried this one is a wet and wild that I'm using but this is their updated version so I would say it's pretty similar it's actually really closer or the same exact product and it's a jumbo stick as well. And then this one, I think it's called, it's When the Nude Strikes in 800. I actually got this as a gift from my ex, not my ex, but my, my previous boss. I don't, I don't know why I always say ex, but my previous boss is called the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter and AWG09 Moon Bean. It's a gorgeous, like, Kind of like a champagne highlights. These aren't really highlighters, but this one is the e.l.f. This is a concealer. This one is a fair color. Um, great for highlighting or if you have dark circles. Hi, Pa. Hi. <laughs> Did you just wake up? Uh, like, the whole... Yeah. The Vichy, oh, this oh, is you. the Idelia Eyes. Oh. And this is an eye eye cream. Actually, try this and I love it. It has a little bit of illuminating effect, so it's gonna give you that like very brightening um, look. And then I'll show you the applicator. So when you use it, it kind of squeezes out. I don't know if you can see it, it kind of squeezes out and then you can apply it directly to your under eyes and then um, start blending it in. Next, I'm gonna go in with some concealers. 
these are a couple of concealers I got. Um, these are from the Maybelline Dream Illuminator. There's like about six, five, four, five, six, yeah, six different colors. And they range from like lightest to darkest. For the lightest, I like to use as a concealer. And then the other like medium tones are, which match me, I'll put it where I need it. And then the darker ones, for instance, like this one, I'll put it to um, kind of contour. So these are really, really convenient to use. You can just throw them in, in your travel bag, um, especially if you don't have a lot of um, time and space. These are so, so convenient to use. I would highly recommend them. So this is the Maybelline Brow, uh, Brow Drama. This is their Pro Palette. I actually have this one in, I think, Blonde. Actually, no, sorry. This is in 2, 255 Soft Brown. And when you open it, it comes in more like a gel. There's a, oops. there's like a gel, a powder, brow powder, and then there's a highlighter, brow high, uh, brow bone highlighter. Um, and it comes in with a little angled brush, a two-sided angled brush. And then in here too, you also receive a little spoolie brush. So if you want for very natural, soft brows, I would highly recommend this palette. This one is the Wamisha by Glow Recipe. Recipe. It's a green tea moisturizer. Again, this is like a little, uh, little sample size. Um, the, this is actually by a Korean brand, the Green Tea Serum Toner. And I have not tried that product be out before. The Burt Bees, oh, I love this. This is their Rose Hip Facial Oil. I've actually used this and I'm obsessed. Can't wait till I finish my other one and use this again. Got the Sonia Kashuk. This is like a fluff. Oh. Also got the Fluffly Brush. This is for your eyes. This is great for like blending it. Like, you don't want any harsh lines to your eyeshadow, so you just kind of blend it. This is like perfect for that. And I like that bamboo stick. Kind of handle. I absolutely love the e.l.f. This is so great if you are getting to makeup and you want something natural. This is like a clear mascara, also a brow gel. It's a duo in. The Physician's Formula. This one is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is the best on the market. It actually is, is an eyeliner. It looks like this is a very thin like felt tip pen. Um, but it actually has a serum to make your eyelashes grow. I'm not sure if it does that, but the eyeliner itself is so good. I'm telling you, like, if you need an eyeliner that stays on all day long, that it's waterproof, if you have watery eyelids or watery eyes, this is hypoallergenic. It's the best. And I've actually had a lot of my um, clients come and tell me that they love, they absolutely love my recommendation and they, like, come back for more. So this one is just in black, again, ultra black. This one is the Physician's Formula um, Eyeliner. It's called the Eye Booster Eyeliner and Serum. Love it. The L'Oreal 24 Hour Foundation. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. I got the number 203 New Beige. It's a stunning, stunning foundation. It um, gives you that radiant finish. It's great for normal to dry skin, but if you like that very dewy, glowy look, this one will stay on your skin for 24 hours. It won't go anywhere. It doesn't look cakey. Super, super like gorgeous. It actually has the SPF of 15 in there as well. So that completes my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big giant thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Zero Effort Beauty. I upload every single day. And we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.